Hi, I'm Natasha. In this project, we'll make light-up LED masks that turn on when you wear them. We'll start with a template that's free to download from Brown Dog Gadget. There are four templates to choose from that make the base mask shape for you to build upon. Bug, Spider, Alien, and Cat. The circuit is the same for all of the designs, so I'll show you how to build one and it'll be the same for all. You can make this mask out of many art materials, but my favorite is craft foam, especially this glitter craft foam that has adhesive on the back so I don't have to wait for glue to dry. But you can also use felt or thick paper. I'll share some more materials and designs at the end, so stay tuned. First, print out the template. Cut it out roughly and staple the template to your material. If you're using paper, you could just print on the paper that you're using. Then, use a craft knife to cut out the eyes and scissors to cut out the main shape. And use an awl or sharp object to poke holes for the LED legs to slide through. Use the template as a guide to place maker tape onto the back of the mask, except for the piece in the center that touches the battery. The two pieces under the battery should touch each other, like this. Now, cut a small square of craft foam and wrap a piece of maker tape around it and attach it to the positive side of the circuit. That's the piece that runs across the top. Make a small loop of maker tape with the adhesive side out and place it on the negative side of the battery. Then, place the battery on top of the maker tape in the center of the nose piece. Push the LEDs through the mask from the front, making sure they go all the way in, and that the longer, positive legs are facing the center of the mask. Hold the legs down flat against the back of the mask along the path of the maker tape. Add a piece of maker tape on top of each leg to secure it. Now, when you push down on the piece of foam so that the maker tape touches the top of the battery, the circuit is complete and the LEDs light up. This will happen when the wearer puts the mask on. If you'd like to make a mask that's always on, you could just connect the maker tape directly to the battery without the foam piece. But remember to disconnect it when you're done wearing it. Use a hole punch to punch out the holes in the template and tie a ribbon to each side to hold the mask on the wearer's head. If your design calls for it, use the eye template to cut the shapes out of a contrasting color of material and glue or stick them in place. We've provided templates for all sorts of mask embellishments to help you design a unique mask. So here are some examples. I used the bug-eyed template, heavy cardstock paper, and the unicorn horn from the embellishment sheet to make this unicorn mask. When using paper, heavier is better, and we still recommend using a craft foam square to make your switch. I used the alien-eyed template with felt to make this goblin mask. When choosing felt, look for the stiff kind so that it can hold up the weight of the battery and the LEDs. The kind that's similar to fabric is too flimsy. And finally, I used the cat-eyed template to make this black cat mask using glitter cardstock and big pipe cleaners. I used a glue stick to adhere the template to the back of the cardstock and glued the black pipe cleaners around the exterior and made two ear shapes from the pipe cleaners as well. And for this build, I skipped the holes for the ribbon and instead decorated a wooden dowel with pipe cleaners, then hot glued it to the back of the mask for a masquerade ball style project. These are just a few examples. The templates for these masks and embellishments are available for free from browndoggadgets.com. I hope you enjoy customizing your own.